Okay, this is a real roach of a record player right now, but it's going to be nice. But that's not the, the reason for the video is not to show off the record player. It's just do something different. Um, this may not even work. I don't know if it should work. It's just got a lot of noise to it. But I want to see modern music played on a 1957 record player with a modified amplifier. Can you imagine listening to Offspring on a 1957 record player? Somewhere Nipper is turning over his grave. Now, the reason this thing sounds good in the high frequency range is I have modified the amplifier severely. It originally was a two-tube amplifier that had uh, only one stage of amplification and a rectifier. I added a 12AX7 and a magnetic cartridge. So now instead of a, uh, a ceramic, we have magnetic, and uh, it worked out real well. You can hear it now has high frequencies. get good sound out of 45 RPM records. This is proof. As I said, the change itself is noisy, so it doesn't do it really justice, but it'll sound a lot better once it's put back all back together again. This again uses the same VSR changer as the, uh, um, whoops, that didn't even drop now. Like I said, this thing is a work in progress. There we go. I think this is Sister Hazel, another kind of anachronistic selection. Oh no, this is Marshall Crenshaw, great record. Back to the amplifier. Um, this really was a significant uh, overhaul on this one. You can see down at the bottom here, all of this stuff down in here, this is all added. The terminal strip, the of course nine pin tube socket, all the components to uh, add the two stages of amplification because of course the 12AX7 is two equivalent of approximately two 6AV6s in one envelope. So we have, we're adding two more stages of amplification one for the magnetic preamp, one is a, a, a follower for that, an amplifier stage for that, then into the original uh, 50, what used to be a 50 C5 and is now a 35 C5 because of the, uh, the extra filament that I added for the 12AX7. I dropped it from a 50 C5 to a 35 C5, so I didn't have to change the filament resistors. So this is the original amplifier shell for the record player, but it's been uh, modified to take a magnetic cartridge. And I think it's pretty cool. This record player is pretty cool. It's got the uh, turquoise cabinet with a white trim, and it's got the gold speckles in the paint. And we'll, we'll go into this more uh, uh, when I uh, when I restore the rest of the record player. Here's Sister Hazel. Of course, I don't have any grounds on it either. <laughs>
of course, Green Day. I don't have too many new records, for obvious reasons. I'm stuck in the 50s. But there you have it, for now. We'll get back to it when I get the record changer fixed.